And looks like we're now live. We are good. We are good to rock and roll, baby. We are good to rock and roll. How we doing? How we feeling? How's everyone's day going so far? Hopefully y'all are smart and have already began liking the live stream. But if you haven't, make sure to go ahead and do so and share around with everybody. But how's everyone's day going so far today? How we feeling, man? How we feeling? Who we got in the chat so far? Let's see who's number one. Who's number one? I'm gonna say Black Brick, or it's gonna be Jaw, or maybe even Joseph Keen. Let's see. Black Brick is first. All right, cool, cool, cool. I called it. It was gonna be one of the three. James Chalikas, what's going on, man? What's up, GF fans? How's your day going for all y'all? It's going great for me, man. It's going absolutely fantastic for me. Uh, again, getting some stuff done. Excited to stream and hang out with everyone, man. Jaw, what's going on, man? How was weeks, everyone, so far? It's been good so far. Oh, you won't be able to make the live stream. Ah, oh, don't worry, man. Don't worry. Hey, at least, you know, you're you're still here for a little bit. At least you're still here for a little bit. My man, Joseph Keen, how you doing, man? How you doing, brother? Again, guys, do me a big old favor. Share this stream around with as many people as possible. Let people know that we're going live. If everyone wants to go ahead and get extra opportunities to win tomorrow's $500 shopping spree giveaway, they got to get their orders in. Got to get the orders in, and they got to be watching tonight's live stream. And especially if you know anyone that's just starting off, right, or maybe someone is just wants to, you know, make some friends in the airsoft community. This is a great place to go ahead and get started, right? Maybe they're looking for product recommendations. Maybe they're looking for some, uh, you know, our opinions on certain airsoft guns. This is definitely the stream that they want to be in. This is definitely the stream that you want to hang out in. We got an awesome community, got an awesome chat going on, and again, just want to help out as many people as we possibly can. This is going to be a Q&A live stream, of course. Uh, Airsofters here to help out noobs. We are here to help out as many people as we possibly can, but we need your help to go out and let people know. I've gone on, on, I've done, you know what I could in terms of posting it to all to social media, but word of mouth is going to be the biggest weapon we got right now. So who else is joining right? Zubanel, what's going on, man? Hello there, hello there. Hello, 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 hello. And if you haven't already, again, please make sure to leave a like on the slash. It lets us know you guys want us to continue putting out all this free, amazing content. All this free stuff. Free. F-R-E-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E, however many E's you want to put in there. But yeah, man, yeah. Definitely go ahead and like this stream around. Cutter, my man. How you doing? Uh, did so <laughs> someone say better? I did not get a chance to cut. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on my phone and I'm going to look at Discord. I'm going to look at Discord. I haven't been able to get on my personal Discord in a little bit, but let me see here. I want to see exactly where I'm tagged in, brother. I want to see exactly where I'm at. Uh, let's see. Roast my build. Oh, is this one? Is this one? Is this one where it's at? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Dude, that's a dude. This is, this is clean, dog. Oh, you got the you got the foldy skeleton stock, too? Dude, that's clean. That is actually really, really done up well. That's absolutely amazing. Let's see what we've done so far with it. Uh, let's see. Battle rifle, Reebok's gearbox, new piston head motor, 65 type port inner barrel with new bucking, flat hop nub, did the longer barrel, uh, and a mox presser. All right, all right. DSA 58 rep. Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, which one is this one? Who's the OEM on this one? I'm actually curious about that. But, that dude, that looks good. That looks really good. Again, I'm telling you. If, if you don't believe me, believe Cutter, too. Like, you know, SA-58s, FALs, like, hey, at the end of the day, they're using a version 3, man, using a standard version 3, which you can easily, easily turn, tune into a nightmare. You can easily turn that into a nightmare. And it doesn't require too much either. doesn't require too much either in order for it to be effective. All right. Uh, let's see here. Make sure to miss anything. Let's see. Make sure it's there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, guys, again, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on the live stream. Let us know you guys want us to continue. And remember, promotions are right next to me. Every $50 you spend right now will be getting you five entries into the Shopping Spree giveaway. The Shopping Spree giveaway for all my newer players that are, you know, just watching all my newer viewers is a weekly you know, raffle that we like to go ahead and do, give something to look forward to for the Airsoft community. Every week we are raffling off a prize pot, a shopping spree, and the prize pot starts at about $500. $500, which can be yours, and all you got to do is place a $20 or greater order. That is literally it. Ain't nothing more that's required other than that just to make sure you're, of course, watching the stream because, of course, that's how you verify your info. Make sure you are watching the live stream. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing at the end of the day is make sure you are watching. Because we're not going to reward someone who doesn't watch our streams. And for anyone out there that, uh, you know, is just starting, right? Absolutely. This is a Q&A live stream. So if you guys have any airsoft-related questions, looking for recommendations uh, for stuff that we sell on our website, maybe you're hoping to go ahead and pick my brain a little bit. By all means, I've been playing airsoft for 14 years. I think it's about to be 15 soon. Yeah, it'll be 15 soon. Uh, then uh, feel free to go ahead and do so in the live chat. Put the letter Q right in front of your questions so I can easily identify your questions. Uh, and then if for whatever reason, you know, if you guys after this stream, you know, maybe you want to ask it after you don't really want to do it, feel free to go ahead and DM us. Instagram, Facebook, our Discord server. You can email us as well. 
you can give our boy Matt on our customer service department a call as well. However, since we receive hundreds of phone calls literally a day, uh, I'd also highly recommend that you guys, in case you didn't want to use social media, email, or any other sort of means of reaching out, I would strongly also suggest checking out the new live chat function on our website. Uh, it is actually very easy, very simple, very convenient to use as well. It's literally going to be located on the left-hand corner. You can see it right there. See it right there. It's located in the bottom or bottom right hand corner. Yeah, bottom right hand corner. You can literally just start typing away any sort of questions that you might have. And yeah, we'll be able to go and help you out. And the best news about it, it's not AI. Uh, while we do adhere to the regular business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, it's not AI that you're talking to. So you'll be able to actually get uh, someone from the GI crew actually messaging. It could be Cisco, it could be myself, it could be Boaz, Justin, it could literally be any of us. We're all re ready and willing to help you guys out in any ways that you might need. Even if you're just looking for recommendations, we're more than happy to help you out and steer you in the right direction. All right, let's see here. Clayton Peralta pulled the trigger and got my first AEG Specna Arms RA E07. Uh, what do you think, Clayton? Hey, that's actually not a bad choice. I like Specna. Specna, Lance Tactical, those are some great uh, brands to go with for your first model. Uh, the uh, uh, the Rock River Arms. Hey, it's cool. He's got the Rock River Arms receiver on there as well. E07, yeah, no, not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Good choice, too. Good choice. Uh, again, you know, the Specna Arms and uh, uh, Lance Tactical, specifically like the Gen 2 series, are great budget options. Uh, if you want it to go a little bit higher for me, I'm actually more partial to the Lance Tactical Gen 3. You know, but then again, it just, just depends on your budget and what you ultimately wanted, right? If you really wanted uh, that uh, that Rock River Arms uh, trades on there, there, there you go. It's cool, man. It's a cool gun. That was a DSA. Oh, okay, a DSA. It's discontinued. Yeah, yeah, I do remember. I think we even used to carry those way back in the day as well. Uh, Loridi10. I'm a noob. I need a first gun that's under $200. Ooh, Greedy, uh, I've got some suggestions for you, my friend. You came to the right place. First of all, welcome, man. Always appreciate it whenever newer players uh, swing by, whenever we get some newbies coming in. Dude, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. But, like, again, welcome. Welcome to the Mayo Gang. But, yeah, dude, if you were looking for an airsoft gun that was going to be less than $200, um, there's quite a few different options that you have. It really depends on what it is that you were looking for, what sort of expectations you had, where you're going to be playing with it. You know, these are all questions everyone should be asking themselves. But, typically, if you're just looking for something that I usually just like to recommend overall, uh, you can honestly go with like a standard gen 2 you can go from my tactical you can go with the specna arms i'll go with one of my personal favorites because i believe they might be discounted right now but yeah let's go lance tactical gen 2s and there's going to be quite a few options that you can get for under 200 dollars. just again just depends on what it is that you're looking for uh let's say for example you were on a pretty tight budget like and i mean tight tight right you know like you couldn't spend anything more uh than like say like 130 you can get something like this as a Gen 2 LTO 4T, for example, again, we're just throwing this as an example, right? This is one great option. Uh, you can find many of these. These are all going to be using the Polymer receiver as long as they're part of the standard Gen 2 series. The Proline is different. You might see Gen 2 Proline. Proline is using a metal receiver uh, and a uh, pre-installed ETU. For most beginner players, while that is cool, it's not really super needed right there and again again it just depends on what you're looking for this is going to be dope because again normally it costs less than 150 but because this is part of the core series where you're only going to be getting the airsoft gun in the magazine only you're not getting a battery and a charger uh like some of the other gen 2s uh you will be saving quite a bit of money and you can use that money to get the be a better battery and charger because the battery and charger you get right from the box is decent and it's serviceable it gets the job done it's enough to get you playing but i always recommend upgrading that's like the first thing you typically want to upgrade uh in terms of like airsoft equipment right but for 128, that's a steal, man. That is absolutely a bang up steal. You get yourself a good battery and charger as well. But if you wanted it all in one packaging, you can get this exact same gun, uh, literally in a uh, just a standard packaging, and you'll get all things. You get everything for it, right? Uh, for example, one of my favorite ones. Yeah, if you if you if you had a little bit more, right, but you still needed to keep it under two hundred dollars, I would say this is probably my favorite, literally my favorite airsoft gun to recommend because it's so freaking cool. Right, it's literally my favorite of the Gen 2 series because this is the airsoft gun I wish was available when I was playing airsoft. This is what I wish that I, I had to spend money to get my, you know, very first uh, AR to look like this. Right, to look like this Mark 18 Mod 1. You get the nice metal rail system on here, but you are still getting the polymer receiver, so it's nice and lightweight. Uh, you are getting standard Gen 2 internals, and you even get a battery and a charger. Again, like I said, is it the best battery and charger in the world? No, absolutely not. But hey. It's enough to get you out and playing, man. It's enough to get you going, which I think is more important than anything else at the end of the day. And, of course, right, you are getting a very, very well-built uh, gearbox as well, which, again, very easy to upgrade later on in the future. But already out the box, you get some cool features right from the get-go, man. 
All right, let's keep scrolling through, make sure I'm not missing anything else. Uh, Joseph King Woman vouchers uh, cleared today. Got some shopping to do. Uh, I believe it might, actually. I believe it actually should. If you got the vouchers, yeah, you got the vouchers last night. Uh, you should be able to get them today, if I'm not mistaken. Unless, some, unless again, there's a delay, but I, I highly doubt it. Uh, the vouchers might clear a little bit later on in the day, but they will probably clear today. They probably will end up clearing later on today. XR Preacher, what's going on, man? Casper, good to see you as well, man. Good to see you as well. Crazy Jay, good to have you. Good to have you, my guys. Again, guys, remember, share this live stream around. Let people know that we are live right now. Let people know that we're going live right now, and this is a perfect opportunity for you guys to increase your odds of winning tomorrow's. It's literally happening tomorrow. The shopping spree giveaway is going out tomorrow, 500 bucks, and you guys can go ahead and win that for yourselves, but you got to get your orders in now while you guys can. Every $50 you spend gets you five entries, so don't miss out. Then $50, that's five. So then $100, that's 10 150, that's 15, and so on, and so forth. And you get the idea. You guys you guys can do math. You guys can do math. Fluffy Gargos, what's going on, man? Just joined. Has Octurus come up with the best uh, series of starter AG ever? Fluffy Gargos? Uh, it is debatable as to what the best starter AG is, right? like, depending. But, I, hey, you know what? I got to give credit where credit's due, man. Fluffy, the, the Octurus, like, starter packages are dope. They are indeed dope, too, right? Let's see. Let's go take a look at Ar Arcturus LWT. If you guys were a beginner, too, and you wanted another package, too, that was going to be available for you, you could go with one of these. These are going to be a little bit more expensive than the $200 budget would allow. But honestly, it, even then, it's worth it, man, because you would have to spend quite a bit of money in order to get this whole setup for yourself. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, you are getting with this LWT Sport Package, right? You are getting, of course, the Airsoft Gun, which is made already very well. Octurus does a phenomenal job with their gearboxes, right? Again, when they when they produce those bad boys, they are detail-oriented to a T, right? But not only that, not only are you getting a badass gun, you're getting a lithium-ion 11.1 uh, battery right from the get-go, in addition to a smart charger as well. It's, it's dope. It's a, it's a good package, man. It's a good package that's really hard to beat, especially considering the quality of of the battery and charger that you're getting right it's solid they are absolutely solid man uh this is going to be dope like I, I would recommend this to pretty much everyone granted if they had a little bit more money to spend they had a little bit more money to spend you know what i'm saying uh but again that's just that's another great option you know what? i'll link that in the live chat as well i'll link that in the live chat as well for everyone to take advantage of but yeah, as far as it being the best, I, I'm really not a big fan of the term best because, again, it's all subjective, man. Like, it all depends. Someone might look at this and be like, oh, that rail looks ugly or something, or that I hate the way that stock looks. or oh, You know what I mean? It's all subjective. Everyone's got their own opinions, man. Everyone's got one. Everyone's got one. All right, let's see here. Uh, Peace and Wealth Seeker just played my first Airsoft event ever. First time playing in over 10 years. Man, I forgot what I was missing out on, Peace and Wealth Seeker. Hey, man, at least you're back in it. Peace and Wealth Seeker, at least you're back in it, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter if you end up taking a break for, like, 10, 20 years. You know, at the end of the day, at least you're back in it. You're playing, and you're back in the community, dude. And we're happy to have you, dude. We are always happy to have newer members or returning guys. You know what I mean? Guys that have been out of the game for a little while but want to make their way back in. You will always be welcome with open arms, especially here, especially in this uh, Mayo Game community that we built up. This is, like, again, I genuinely believe we have one of the most wholesome communities out there in the airsoft scene, and I'm very much proud to be a part of it. I am very proud of what this uh, Mayo Gang community has become. All right, let's scroll down those recent comments and questions. Uh, did, 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 did make sure I miss anything. You know, oh man, I spent two of this site a couple days ago. Wish I had knew about this. Hey man, you know what? At least you know now, 91 ba uh, Baker. At least you know now, right? Again, we live stream almost every single day, which is why we tell people it's always so important. Even on our website, we even say follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we even have our Discord server linked there as well. It's always important to be keeping up with our social media uh, because, again, uh, right now, uh, all of the deals, every single deal that we post up on uh, anytime there's new sales, anytime there's new products coming out, we always post about it everywhere on all of our social media sites. It's always so important to keep up with those on our stories, too. I'm always letting people know when I'm going live. And just, for your, and just so you are aware, 91 Baker, uh, I go live almost every single day. I go live almost every single day, literally Monday through Friday. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are the later streams. But Monday through Friday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday specifically, I will be streaming from 4 uh, p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, again, we always like to throw in extra promotions uh, during the streams as well. It's always so important to catch these. Uh, yeah, Dane, just check my vouchers. and haven't cleared yet. Guess we placed my order during tomorrow. Yeah, the, more than likely, it'll probably clear up by the end of the day. If well, I'm not mistaken, uh, if not, if there's, if there's, there should be any sort of delay, but in case there is, yeah, it'll end up clearing the next day. Like, usually, it ends up clearing by the end of the day. Usually, it ends up clearing before the end of the business day. So, 
Uh, let's see. Yep, you write. Uh, I'm not meant to win that raffle. I've got ten percent of the entries, like five, and never got to accept the bonus raffle. Hey, XR preacher. That's the thing. You you know how many times freaking Brewer, uh, for example, like had to get like entries in. How many times, or how long it took before he was able to go ahead and claim it? Granted, he at the time he was the uh, when he did win it, he was the largest prize pot winner ever. He would won four thousand one hundred fifty dollars. That was before he was surpassed uh, by uh, Soybean. But yeah, man, it took him a long time before he can go ahead and win. At that, that, this, at that certain point, it does become a like okay, odds game. At some point or another, you're going to win. It's just you gotta you know play those odds, man. You just gotta play those odds. And again, placing your orders right now and taking advantage of every single promotion that we always give out is definitely an, uh, a best uh, the best way to increase your or maximize your potential, I should say. Fish Dig'em, what's up, gang? What's today's topic? Today's topic is, uh, again, just like every Wednesday, is going to be, you know, helping out newer players, right? What are Mostly just a Q&A type deal, more of a conversation stream, more than anything, trying to help out as many people as we possibly can, right? That's the biggest thing at the end of the day. So if any of you guys, any newer players, listeners just listening in right now, anyone just, you know, just, 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 just cruising through, right? Make sure to go in and put your question down. Put your question down. Ask away. I don't bite at all. I uh, don't make fun of people, which uh, I've had to experience that before in my life when I was uh, trying airsoft for the first time. So I don't do that to people. I want people to feel, you know, comfortable when they ask their airsoft-related questions, asking for opinions on everything. All right, let's go. Let's keep going through. Keep going through. Uh, Raymond Wagner, I played Airsoft 12 years and will always continue to play. Yeah, man, that's what it's like. I'm in this for life, dude. Like, I, I'm like a lot of you guys where I'm just in this for life. I'm literally a lifer. I will be airsofting until I die, Doing participating in airsoft in some way, shape, or form. There's just – I'm not getting out of it, man. This is literally it. Like, I've gone, tried to go, like, some periods of time without airsofting or being involved in airsoft in any way uh, for, like – even just for, like, one year, right? And that was alone – like uh, terrible for me. I went to, I went, fell through a huge depression because I wasn't able to do the things that I loved, specifically airsoft. I, I wasn't around the things that I loved. I need to make sure that I'm constantly around airsoft in some capacity. Otherwise, I will literally fall into a great depression. It has happened uh, uh, a couple times. You know, uh, one particular uh, when I went to college, especially that was a huge thing because uh, when I was in college, you know, of course, didn't have a whole lot of money, and uh, there was not a whole lot of airsofting around uh, me at all, like literally anything. So uh, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty depressing. It was pretty depressing. So I gotta be doing this for life, man. Otherwise, it's just it's just good for my mental health, dude. Hell, my back's killing me, and I'm on light duty at work. But if boys agree to play rain this weekend, I'm here, <laughs> dude. Hell yeah! I mean, hey, you're in it to win it, man. You are absolutely in it. All right, let's see here. Make sure I miss anything. Uh, just snagged the ARP five five six. I was selling all my air stuff about two years ago. My fingers were itching. Hey, you know what? That, that's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick at all. Not a bad pick for me. I actually don't like having to sell my stuff at all. I actually am kind of a pack rat. I like keeping my stuff uh, with me because uh, I'm also a bit of a collector too. It, like it took me a long time to get to the uh, the airsoft guns that I have now, and I have no intention of selling any of my stuff ever. I've had people literally come in, uh, like making me offers. Uh, apparently, I wasn't here when this happened. But I got a call uh, on my day off when this happened. Apparently, uh, you guys know the dude Chief Keef. Uh, if you guys know him, uh, his manager had actually come in and was looking for guns to display and was kind of FaceTiming him. And he saw some of my personal guns. And one in particular that he saw he really liked. And he was making offers to go ahead and buy it. I think the highest offer I got was like $2,000 for one of my builds. And I just outright said, nah, I'm not doing it. Like I'm not gonna do it, you know what I mean? Like I, as like as as tempting as that sounds, like I'm not gonna do it. I have too much sentimental value behind all of my stuff. Too many, too much sentimental value behind a lot of the stuff that I collect, man. It's just too too special to me. It's too special. Uh, make sure I'm missing anything. Black brick. Uh, yeah, no, I message. Uh, I, I let uh, someone else know. I think yeah, I was just a keen to let know. Um, but uh, yeah, gift voucher should be cleared by the end of the day. Business voucher or a business voucher. Uh, gift voucher should clear by the end of the business day today. If not today, more than likely early tomorrow. But it should be by the end of the day today. Uh, if it wasn't stacking money for airsoft events and it's big pew pew, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I have doubt between the is. I have duped between the ASMR word exactly and six sour. Uh, which one of them had better? Uh, I, I, if I wrote exactly, I'm not too sure what model you're trying to compare it to, man. I do apologize, uh, Saeed, Sol, Ten, and Tanian. All right, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling through, make sure to miss anything. All right, scroll down, scroll down. There you go, there you go. Uh, so y'all just emailed me my order is about to be shipped. I hope it's XR Preacher. I think you're going to be happy with it. I think you are going to be happy with what it is that you receive. That's all I can say about that. That's all I can say about it. All right, let's see here. Playing your switch with gears, which is that one. Uh, Fidel, what the worst gore gears and still not winning? What the worst gears? This answer is no. Okay, answer that one. Answer that one. 
Fidel is in Hawaii. He's already winning. I should know. I miss living there. Dude, honestly, like, I... I I've, I haven't been to Hawaii in such a long time since I went there as a little kid. I really want to go back. I've been telling Fidel, like, I've been wanting to hit him up, like, in Hawaii and just play some airsoft at the local scene. If I could, the Milsom Hawaii uh, uh, Milsom events sound really, really cool. I would love to do that as well. That sounds like a blast. Um, but, again, something I've yet to experience and hopefully will in the future. Again, that is my dream. I've told all of you guys that is literally my dream to so be able to go out and just play airsoft at every single field that I can possibly find uh, even if it's not an official field if it's like pretty big right in, the, in this sort of community in this scene I would love to go I would love to go and experience that for myself all right that's doing an airsoft road trip that's the dream man that's the dream. if I do that I can like rest easy I can kick the bucket I wouldn't care because I would have accomplished everything that I wanted to uh, do I have to use my gift voucher today? No, you do not, Black Brick. If you get your gift voucher cleared, the minute that your gift voucher clears, you don't have to, there's no time limit. You know what I mean? It doesn't expire. It's on your account forever, essentially. It's on your account forever, essentially. You can use that for literally any order that you place online or in store. It doesn't matter. If it's on there, it's on there. It doesn't expire. You're good, man. You are absolutely good. Them airsofter withdrawals. Same. I want to go this weekend, but I might rain Ruben Moreno. Oh, dude, I hear that. Yeah, no. I, I was looking up the uh, the weather forecast this weekend, and yeah, apparently, uh, even though it's been kind of sunny these last couple of days, it's gonna rain again on on a Saturday. So gonna be very interesting to see. I actually prefer rain. I do not like the desert. I don't like the heat. I just I, I it's not comfortable, man. I really really hate it. Defu, Isaiah, have you ever tried that GHK Glock on TV? Yes, actually, I have. I have tried the uh, GHK uh, uh, Glocks before. Uh, they are incredibly snappy. Expensive, but they are really cool. Like, really, really cool. Good to hear, Isaiah. Sounds like you definitely helped pack it and get it ready. Uh, check your emails. I don't know if something with my Outlook channel, but ASGS email were getting routed to my spam folder. Yeah, I don't know why it does that sometimes. We'll get that every once in a while, too, that uh, apparently some servers will mark emails from us. They'll mark them as spam. And we're like, bro, why? Why? Uh, let's see. You are uh, you gonna be hitting Texas, Casper? Yeah, man. With the uh, the Texas BB Wars event, I will more than likely be going out to that one. That one's gonna be interesting. That one's gonna be very very fun. I'm really looking forward to that as well. I've never never played in Texas, man. I've never played in Texas, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Unfortunately, I was moving and I needed the extra cash. No, it's understandable. But now that money isn't an issue again, finally I can get back to collecting. I'm planning to snag uh, the G and G M uh, MX, uh, MXP 556 with the Zion Arms R15. Ooh, get the Zion Arms. I'm not. I'm not joking. As much as I love the G and G, get the Zion Arms. You won't be disappointed, man. Get the G. Get the get the Zion Arms. Hell yeah. Uh, I thought that too, but in the long run, I am a builder and I build to sell, and I can always recreate any gun on my wall. That's true. That's true. Unless it's like one of those really limited edition type guns. You know the ones I'm talking about. The ones that they just don't make anymore. You can never find them. They're just a, a, like a super rarity. Those, I think, especially, I think most people should save. Right. I think most people typically should. But I mean, it's it's up to people if they want to do that or not. Uh, hope they postpone the better. Let's see. Let's see. Make sure there's one airsoft gun I have. Uh, just wondering what your opinion is on a KDVA Chris Vector. Um, I mean, it's hard to speak about guns that don't exist anymore, but I will say it is pretty freaking cool. It is pretty freaking cool. I just, it, it's hard to speak about guns that, you know, like that aren't really manufactured anymore. You know what I mean? I definitely would, I will say this. I definitely prefer that one over the Crytek one. I would definitely prefer that one over the Crytek one. The Crytek one, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Have I got some opinions on that one, man. Uh, Fluffy Gargos, are there any Airsoft group chats that are big on giving tips and just being helpful all around? Honestly, Fluffy, this one. No bullshit. I'm actually being gen genuine. Go on to our Discord server uh, mods, or someone can uh, you guys go and link them to the Discord server. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, but yeah, man, our Discord server is fantastic, man. It's absolutely fantastic. We have tech chats in there as well, and we have some great guys like Cutter, Prime Tech Customs, and so much more that are on there. Even us, right? We'll go in there and answer a couple people's questions in terms of like giving recommendations, uh, you know, opinions on stuff as well, like and just helping out. That's literally what this whole thing has been around. That's we've been solely focusing on trying to help out as many people as possible. Obviously, you know, we are a business, and we still, you know, prefer you go ahead and get uh, all your airsoft goodies from us, especially if you want these live streams to continue. But in terms of just the overall mission of helping as many people as possible, yeah, dude, that's what we're all about, man. That is 100% what we're all about. 
Uh, you can also like link up with other air airsofters in your area. <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, single airsofters in my area. <laughs> oh, dude, that's funny. That should be like a should be another thing. Air Maybe like oh, dude, that wouldn't that be hilarious if there was an airsoft dating app? That would be so funny, dude. That would absolutely be so funny. Uh, what is it? Looking for uh hot lonely airsoft singles in my area, <laughs> dude. That'd be so funny, dude. I gotta make a. I gotta see if we can try to like Photoshop something and. Just just to kind of make it look like a legit wet like dating site dude that'd be funny as fuck dude that'd be hilarious but yeah man fluffy if you're just looking for help and for tips and all of that you honestly can't go wrong with our discord server or just this community here like even in the live chat dude we we genuinely love helping as many people as we can out that's the that's the best feeling in the world that is genuinely the best feeling in the world more than getting a kill on the airsoft field uh more than you know getting a steal on an airsoft gun just helping out that feeling you get when you know that that person made the right decision or you were able to give them the right advice and they were able to continue on with their airsoft journey, that's it, man. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Question ASL? ASL. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Casper? What are you talking about? Uh, vocal and opinionated. <laughs> I'm vocal and opinionated. Just ignore me there. <laughs> I mean, that's, you're not wrong, though, Casper. You're not wrong, though. In general, yeah, that is definitely going to be. We are definitely 100% of the uh, of like the community that I that I that, that I've talked to and that I've met. We all have the same opinion, man. We got to help each other out, man. That's how we keep it going. That's how we keep it going. Uh, Casper, hair stop, Jane. 95% guys. You know what? It probably would be like that. I mean, hey, you know what? You'd be surprised. I've been seeing there are more and more uh, girls uh, and uh, other and other non-binary that are getting involved in airsoft. Dude, it's it's sick. That, that I want more people. I don't want it to just be like solely guys, because then you are kind of limiting the potential of what you know people can play. You know what I mean? Like it just I want it to be a whole thing that families. You know what I mean? I like I want the family unit like after church on a Sunday going out to play. I want you know instead of I mean nothing wrong with skating either, but instead of you know taking Take your little Jimmy to the skate park. This, hey, you know, after school, right? Let's go to play some airsoft, right? Dude, that'd be fucking sick. I think this is this is one of the coolest stories, one of the coolest things that I had seen on the airsoft. And this was so wholesome to me. So this is very, very wholesome to me. I went to Wildlands, I think, about a year and a half ago, right? This was a year and a half ago. And I was playing, and there was this mom and her kid, right? But now the mom wasn't just sitting on the sidelines. She had actually done the rent. She did the whole nine yards. She did the rental for herself, like the fa face mask. Uh, she, I think she did like one of those like uh, like small little like uh, uh, like slick style like body armor like rentals that they do, you know, just body armor. Uh, and then of course they did the gun, right? For herself and for her kid. And she was out there playing with him, like actually playing with him and trying to work together. That was cool. And the kid was little too. He was little, but at the, from what I remember talking to her, she said, yeah, he just really wanted to do this and he, he's been wanting to try it. He's been bugging me and I figured, you know, might as well do it with him. And I was like, that's what's up. That's cool. And ho and I, I hopefully they're, they're still doing it together. Hopefully they're still doing it together and having fun because she seemed like she was having a blast with him as well. She seemed like she was having an absolute blast playing with the kid as well. So that's the thing I want to go and see. I want to see more of that on the field. Fish chicken. Will the LCT be 33? Ayo. <laughs> That Get sounds that sounds real sus. Now I was just say it out loud. I know that's what I walked into. <laughs> I was talking about a mom that had brought her kid out to the field and she was playing with him. Like, oh, that's so sick. That's what I'm saying, right? Like, my mom would never ever do that with. Oh me. yeah, oh yeah, 100. percent Fish stick and will the LCT B33 rail dust cover only mount on LCT AKs if I have the B30 and 31 front handguards? Uh, no. You should be able to get that to fit onto most AKs. Didn't we try that out the other day where we took a an LCT side rail and we were able to go ahead and get it to fit on other AKs and stuff? I don't think he's talking. Uh, but like in general, parts compatibility. No, he's wise. talking about the railed dust cover itself. So the dust cover itself that has a rail. If I'm not mistaken, LCT might have a different spec. Uh, dust cover. Might have to get back to you on that one. DM us, and we can go in and look further into that. We can test it out for ourselves. We have plenty of AKs we can try that out on and see if it works or not. I, I have a feeling, though, they should work. Because I remember talking to... They're, they're more real spec dust cover compatible, I think, with LCT. Same with ENL. So we'd have to double check. Yeah, we'd have to double check. I, I feel I'm going to put money that it does, but we'll, we'll check. We'll check. All right, scrolling down the most recent comments and questions. Just answering some questions. Of course, it's a noob-friendly live stream. Airsofter is here to help new beginners players out. Uh, that's great. I made a lot of mistakes with my old Airsoft collection. I bought a lot of things I shouldn't have, and so I really don't want to have any more regrets. Do you have any Airsoft regrets in general, like things you've bought over the past years? I have a whole bin of them. 
<laughs> Actually, I have like multiple bins of him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, at the end of the day, like it mo- mostly it's just it's gear for me, not not guns, mm-hmm. gear and, and maybe like attachments. So I'll, I'll have like boxes of attachments I don't really use anymore. A, a ton of Magpul rail covers I don't use anymore. Yeah, old foregrips, old scope mounts, like really like low quality, cheap like red dot sights that are like I don't use anymore, or like uh, like certain flashlights that I don't really like because they're not bright enough. You know, it's just stuff like that. What would you say is the worst like uh, decision you made in terms of like purchases that you've made uh, for like you said it was mostly accessories and like tactical gear. What do you what would you say is the worst one that you've got? Uh, uh, instant regretty. I, I don't think I've had instant regretty, but I mean, I like like one big bin I have are just old chest rigs, old plate carriers, mm. stuff that I just like evolve out of, I guess. So, uh, let's see, what like I I gotten what what have I got? I I, I at one point I I bought I bought uh was it the Shellback Tactical Banshee 2.0 play carrier. I oh, had okay. that for a while. And then uh, I think before I got that, I got the Condor Cyclone play carrier, which is pretty much the same thing, honestly. Which both of those, I thought, like, the, every time I buy a play carrier or a chest rig, I think this is going to be the end all be all. And it's, like, not it, you know? Uh, after a while, I'm just like, I, I, I keep trying really hard to get it to do something that. Not made for. It's not made to do, or like maybe my play style changes, or like my my needs on the airsoft field change, and so uh, yeah. So eventually, I'm just like, yeah, like this isn't comfortable for me anymore. Like the way I'm shooting my gun and the way it's set up, like it's just it's not for me anymore. Then that then I bought like an Emerson 1694A play carrier, and then I think that's when I started to run like real uh plates yeah uh yeah b- because that that was sort of when i was like starting to flesh out like my actual like real firearms kit so i decided to go like oh like let's let's uh let's let's do a two for one special here uh and then at, at some point I, like in the back of my mind i was like ah oh, like i should probably be getting like a higher quality plate but it was holding up actually really well uh for a while like i took it to milsom west a few times and then uh, after that I, I just i don't know now now i'm just i'm just thinking about like oh like uh I, I want something that's a little bit more like versatile so like not not now that i don't just have like airsoft m4s i have like some machine guns and dmrs and you know lmgs like uh i, I didn't want to buy a new play carry every time i had a new kit so then i wanted one of more modular systems so i went with like feral concepts uh slickster which uh, I recently upgraded out of into the Feral Concepts FCPC, which is like way more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder but, how many years into the future it'll be before like that one will be like, man, this one's just not comfy anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because because right now Feral Concepts is on their for the play care their their flagship play care they're on version five mm-hmm. V five. Uh, I I've watched videos of like the version four and I was like, damn, Feral has come a long way. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty sure when the version six comes out, I'm just gonna I'm, like I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and just like pay an exorbitant amount of money for, for that. Casper, any of the rail dust covers fit on the Octurus AK05? Uh, for Octurus, I I think Octurus is its own spec, isn't it? Uh, I think they're more in line with with the Tokyo Marui spec. Mm-hmm. I think I think so. Uh, I would highly recommend that you contact them on social media. They're pretty active. So, excuse me. I think it's just Arcturus Tactical. I think that's their Instagram profile. So if you message them, uh, they, they might give you some good advice. They, they might even, if they have the parts, they might even just like sell them for you for a pretty good price. Yeah, they're pretty good guys yeah. about that. If they, yeah, if they yeah, see yeah. a means of like getting you what you want, they'll probably work something out yeah. with you. Uh, my honest opinion, man, real dust covers, I think they're cool until they don't work for you. That's just my experience. Like even with... Uh, I have the Arcturus, I think it's a PP19, the PE, yeah. uh, the the one with like the, the Zeneca furniture, the, the shorter one, and it has a real dust cover. I think that thing is like a little bit tilted. It's just not a very stable place to put your, your optic on. Do you think that happens over time? Maybe just gets warped with heat and stuff? I, I, I don't know. Like I'm just saying like that, that thing's brand new. So it's it's like a hit or miss in my opinion. Like... Uh, and because it's hinging on that on that front, like of the dust cover, like real dust covers are hinged to the the trunnion or whatever. Uh, there's only one, that's only one real point of contact, and then what's keeping it in place is the what you call it the, the pin, the, the 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 recoil, the 
the recoil system, you know, that, that little, like, button on the back of the dust cover. I, mm. I don't remember the name. Yeah, so it's, it's not a very solid platform. Like, if I if I had the choice, I'd actually just do the side mount, uh, the, the, the side optic mount, honestly. Mm. That's way more stable and more solid. It's a little bit more bulky, but, I mean, hey, if it works, yeah, it works, I mean, right? I mean, AK is supposed to be bulky. It's supposed to be heavy. <laughs> it's supposed to be made out of steel, you know? Like, uh, yeah, it, it's... It's it's a very archaic uh, weapon system that everyone still uses, and you know it is a vibe. Uh, there's another question here that we just we glossed over. I want to answer. Oh, there was one that I saw earlier. Uh, there we go. Uh, what's the difference between Glock 17 Gen 3 yeah, and GHK? Ah, completely different. different. Yeah. Completely different. We're talking apples to oranges. I, at some point, I would like to do a review on the GHK Glock 17 Gen 3. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, so if you, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, Elite Force or Umarex, they have they have two officially licensed uh, Glock 17s. So they have you know your standard one made by VFC, the one that takes green gas, and I think they have CO2 mags. That not not that I recommend it, but yeah, green gas. And then they have this bad boy made by GHK, and you'll notice a huge price difference. Actually, it's not a huge discount that's, that's right a now. Huge discount, yeah. Damn. Damn. I I guess. I guess GHK wants this thing to sell really bad. Like, damn. I mean, uh, what I can tell you is this. It is it is probably one of the hardest kicking green gas pistols I've ever shot. Uh, and it's actually mimicking the function of a real Glock. I don't want to say one-to-one, -one, but as close as possible. So instead of uh, instead of a hammer, which is basically every single airsoft, like Glock or G-Series or any conventional airsoft pistol, like it's just using that design where you have a hammer to strike the release valve, the the you have to have your mag, right? And then it goes into the, the blowback housing and it shoots the BB out and it recoils with the recoil spring. So uh, even with quote-unquote striker fire, like modern handguns like the Glock, if you open it up, even the officially licensed uh, Elite Force 1 by VFC, you have that internal hammer. So it's not a striker, it's an internal. Now, the GHK one has an actual striker. This is the first, I guess you would say, like mass-produced striker-fired uh, airsoft pistol or, or airsoft gun. Yeah, in general. So instead of a, a hammer that does this, you have a striker that comes back and bah, it, it, it hits it hits a release valve. So it, it feels way different. The trigger is more like a real Glock trigger. It's it's a lot harder to to pull, I guess, to release or press the trigger. It's a lot harder. Uh, and it kicks it kicks harder. Uh, performance, I don't know. I, we have yet to test that. Didn't uh, one of our homies, uh, the guy that owns the uh, uh, Full Sun Barbecue, didn't he have one? I remember he got to use one. I think when we went to MSW. Remember? No, so, no, no, no. That 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 was a WEG series. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I remember like dude shooting this one though in particular, and I I have put some yeah. uh, some rounds in it. Dude, it's crazy. It's, it's probably the hardest kicking gas uh, green gas pistol on the market right now. All right, all right. Let's just scroll the most recent stuff because I know there's gonna be. Okay. Uh, Dartry, what's going on, man? Hey, is there some boas? I have the Archer's AK-06. Do you think the new Archer's Zenico furniture will fit? I mean, yeah. I would imagine it's so. Made to the, it's made to the same spec. Yeah, you might need some extra hardware, uh, depending on how it mounts. But yeah, I mean, if you if you buy it, like, you should be able to fit it. Like I said, if you have any questions specifically for the Arcturus ecosystem, like, you should your best bet is probably to reach out to Arcturus Tactical on Instagram. They'll be very happy to help you. They might even give you some uh, extra stuff and bits that you need uh, to get the Zeneca furniture to fit. Yeah, but I mean, Arcturus to Arcturus, I mean, it should it should, should all fit. Fine, yeah, it should yeah. all fit. Shouldn't have well, any sort why, of issue. Why are you getting rid of the M lock, bro? <laughs> the M lock is what made it cool. L leave the M lock alone. I think Dartree's kind of like you, where he like likes to like chase that like airsoft cloud of like gear and equipment, right? So he's like, oh, but that Zeneca is like. And to be fair, it does look really cool. Hey, Dartree, you know, I I honestly, if I could get rid of my Zeneca furniture, I would. And really? Get and get the M lock? Yeah, yeah, because because. You could customize the M lock so much more. What what can you put on a, a, a Zeneco? For example, the the um, what's it called that the Alpha system that would be basically Zeneco's answer to M lock. Like, what can you put on it? You can put on the Zeneco <laughs> foregrip or the Zeneco handguard. Oh no, hand stop, and then you have to put on the Zeneco Picatinny adapter. That's it. I think, if I remember correctly, he. I, I could be imagining this, but I remember a while back he came in the store and was like, he showed a picture of uh, Grand Thumb's uh, uh, AK and he wanted to like build it out. And he's like, oh, but I need that Zenico furniture. And this was before 
you know, the the furniture was available individually, mm. right? So I think he, that's what he's trying to go for, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I, I'm just waiting for someone to come out with the – was it the SureShot AK system where uh, SureShot is another company. It's a competitor to Zeneco, um, a little bit lesser known in the Airsoft community. But uh, basically what SureShot does is they take the handguard and the, the upper dust cover, and it's all one piece. He's asking, yo, trade, Boaz? Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Uh, oh, Datfu was asking, can a stock Elite Force Glock handle CO2? Yes and yes, no. Yes, but actually no. Yes, but actually yeah, no. Yes. Yeah. It, it will run, uh, but you're really rolling the dice, the, the dice to see how long it'll be running for. So I would only recommend CO2 if you're playing in, like, really snowy weather, anything, like, underneath – very cold. Like below 50 degrees. Below 50 degrees, uh, like weather, uh, CO2 will be good for that, like really cold weather. If you're in California or any like moderate or temperate climate, green gas all day, every day. All right, guys, before we continue, remember, every $50 you spend right now, I'll be getting you five entries into the shopping spree giveaway, so don't miss out. It's happening tomorrow. $500 are on the line, and you can be the next big winner, but you got to get your orders in now while you can. You only got about, what is that? 19 minutes left of the live stream, so make sure to place your orders before 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Casper is also asking, when are they going to come out with a Gen 5 MOS version of the Glock 17? Umerix, <laughs> you watching right now? Umerix, you watching? Very close up. Better, better get on that. I, I've been waiting for, we've been waiting for a very long time. Modern, modern airsoft handguns need optic mounts. Not Battle Arc is asking, what is a good, affordable gas well pistol? Well, I haven't seen your name before, but welcome, Not Battle Arc, to the stream. But yes, uh, affordable gas well -like pistols. It depends on what you mean by affordable, um, but usually there's like a sort of a budget we like to keep in mind. But some of our favorite brands to recommend if you are on a budget, let's say 150 or less. Uh, Army Armament, Golden Eagles, uh, I would say Vorsk as well as another option. Vorsk gives you tremendous value, actually. Yeah. yeah. All three of those are probably like brands that we would recommend to go for yeah. if you're looking for something there's, sub 150. There's some Vorsk pistols out there that come with red dots. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. I, I don't know anyone who's, who does that. If you haven't seen our video talking about the Vorsk pistols as a whole, I highly recommend you check that out. Uh, I hosted that one, and I was very proud of that one, so make sure you like it. Well, yeah, I'm not, and I'm scared. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm wow! <laughs> All right, Fluffy, Fluffy Gargos asks, what is the best overall universal holster? Hmm. So I'd say Ammo Max, but uh, Ammo Max, Ammo Max is a great one. If you don't mind pulling it up, I, th I yeah. think I sent that to you t as well for, uh, sure yeah, yeah, because because I wanted to bring that in for the for our store, but um, Ammo Max makes a good one. I believe also, uh, if you want like a hard shell hol holster, which is more of like a modern way of doing it, uh, I recommend the Ammo Max. Uh, let's see here, yeah, yeah. Let's see, Universal Multi Fit. Yeah, so many. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many Ammo Max holsters we have. Uh, yeah, great. And they're only like they're, they're like I think they're less than forty dollars. Less than thirty. Less than thirty dollars. Yeah, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one I got. There you go. Yeah. So this is yeah this is a great op option. Yeah. So th this one's in carbon fiber. So you know eh, if you don't like it, just paint it yeah. uh, black or whatever or whatever color you want. Uh, yeah. But th this will this will pretty much fit any holster. I mean, virtually any conventional airsoft handgun. I put everything from a USP compact to a Deagle in this, and it worked for all of them. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. But as long as you don't have a flashlight, so you're going to have to run it naked. Yeah, it's the only downside, yes. If you were looking for a holster that worked with a flashlight, uh, we actually, specifically a high kappa, uh, you can go for the Bravo holster, actually. I think I think TAC-9 has a Kydex holster. I think it's specifically made for a G-series pistol that's running a mock suppressor. But yes. It, but it holds onto the flashlight. But the thing is, uh, the other half of the pistol is like completely open, mm -hmm. like like it's not covering anything else. Oh, so uh, that that might work for you as well. Yeah, I think Tac Nine also makes one like that. Um, let's see a couple other universal holsters. Yeah, we covered that. That's that one. Yeah. For real, for real, for real. Get on that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how's that new Octurus tracer room, Moreno? Sure. Yeah, it's great. Works works like any other tracer. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's good. Uh, let's see, other than grip and maybe a person, I don't know what else to put on it. Yeah, because Casper's agreeing with you in terms of, uh, you know, what else can you do for the Zenico style like handguards because they're cool. There's just no aftermarket accessories for it. You ha you have to go. Everyone just makes. Uh, either you get the real Zenico stuff, which good luck. But every other aftermarket company right now, they're, they're just mimicking just the OEM Zenico accessories. You know, like there, there's there's just not a lot of innovation when it comes to like Zenico's own real system. So. Uh, M lock, M lock all day. 
Yeah, and walk all day. No, I, I get it. It is definitely going to be a lot easier to go in and start putting whatever you want on there at the end of the day. Fluffy Gargos, that is amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, dude. Absolutely. I love this. This holster is so freaking... Like, I've been recommending this for years, dude. Oh, Dark Tree says that he has a Pursed Fort and all the Zeneco. Well, also, good news for all you uh, Eastern Black Mail boys. Uh, we will be stocking uh, uh, replica Pursed units pretty soon. Well, you heard it here first. You heard it first. That's a sniper style holsters. Uh, what up, bros? Hey, DJ, what's going on, man? My bad, a little busy listening. Hey, man, at least you're here. At least you're here during the stream. Th thanks for being here, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so another thing too that I was asking, you know, what are the worst pieces of gear? Uh, do you think now, Boaz, three years ago, do you think it's that quickly where within the span of like maybe one or two years that your play style has like changed and that's why like maybe gear is not as that you're using back then is not as cool anymore or? Uh. I feel like I've been pretty, depending on the plat, my, my place I will change depending on what gun I have. Yeah, so I think I think for me, uh, like, I don't think the way I play too much has changed. It's just more like I decided to be like, uh, you know, like I, I'm, I started building up like my, my real steel, I guess you would say like load out or whatever, my kit, you know, so... Uh, instead of having like a setup just for airsoft and a setup for like when you go to like the range and like shooting stuff and potentially you know bo boogaloo stuff happens you know <laughs> you know if you, if you know what I'm saying so uh, like having two separate setups to me like just didn't really make sense so I decided you know just kill two birds with one stone so just have one setup that that just does both you know so uh, so now uh, I mean at this point what I'm doing now is like I'm I'm still I'm still wearing like my my actual like ballistic plates in my play carrier try to make distribute the weight you know make it comfortable and then i'm testing to see like how long i could wear it for you know so i'm training my body and also messing around with the gear to make sure like i can do it like efficiently right i'm, I'm still i'm still carrying like the same amount of like mags and ammo for for airsoft you know like but now like i'm adding things like uh like tourniquets and like first aid kits and stuff like that like i would need like potentially like at like the range you know so i think that's the only main difference I think my biggest regret, I think getting two, two, two of the biggest regrets, I think gear wise getting was when I first started out was getting the NC star cross draw vest because mm. the magazine pouches were on the wrong side. The mag, the mag pouches, your M4 mag pouches are on the right side. Why? So if you're a right-handed shooter, like how you going to, you have, you have to like reach over and do this. You have, you have to like reach over the other side to reload, which is like really not intuitive or that, or you have to take your right hand off, off the trigger and do that. And like. What is this a, a 2013 video game? Like, come on, no, no one reloads like that anymore. So, uh, that that was one regret, and then the second regret was uh, off of a friend. I bought a NC Star AK chest rig and ACU. That that ACU just <laughs> fell out of style so bad, so bad. Oh my god, oh my goodness, yeah. But um, I love that. If for those that don't know, Boz and I do a lot of like milf events. We went to one insurgent or not insurgent event. We went to one force on force event in Clovis, and we you know we were doing militia, which is basically just Broke kit, you know, just yeah, whatever yeah, you can broke get. Boy broke boy kit. So you had what was it? Woodland bottoms. Mm -hmm. uh, you had your Korean whoopee, mm -hmm. and you had the, that ACU chest rig. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, now I think that for that specific loadout, the militia loadout, uh, the ACU chest rig went hard. It did look pretty in like that. That looked like it fit. Actually, yeah. Let's see if we can find a picture for that because that that was so hilarious to me that he pulled that up and I was like, yo, actually, that kind of works for this. Wait, hold on. You actually want me to find the photo? Yeah, okay. I think it's sick. It is sick. It it it, it goes pretty hard. Uh, pass by. Oh, okay. All right, there it is. Okay, so next to me is my my very rich friend with his dual tube night vision, <laughs> and his his Chicom chest rig. That that's him right there. Very militia. Wow, he he looks like a militia fighter. Sure, we'll we'll go with that. And then that's that's me right oh, there that's with a the militia fighter. Yeah, with, with the ACU. Yeah, chest rig, and then my. This is my Kitty Boy ERG RM4 with uh, a spare upper that I have. That's me for a Car 15, you know. So, yeah, you know, it works. Yeah. It works, you know. Uh, but like, I, I think most of the stuff I've been pretty good about. Like, I don't really find that there's any piece of gear or equipment that I've like felt like I regretted. Honestly, I think I've done pretty good in that field. I think if there was any one gun that was like, in terms of guns, that kind of failed me or just was like. Man, this was not as good as I had hoped. It would probably be my uh, my uh, Ares L1A1, the FAL, the mm. painted one. That one, it's an, well, it's an Ares OEM, right? Yeah. So it's like wow, this is old. This is when Ares, you know, didn't 
you know, their stuff wasn't exactly meant to last very long time. Unfortunately, that uh, that uh, ETU that they have, that, that trigger unit, that thing burned out so quick. I think, I think we just run our guns a lot harder than intended. Ares intends us to run it, yeah. Maybe. I mean, it still works, but just only in full auto. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, hey that, I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, it's a yeah, perfect yeah. bush gun. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, man. I mean, like, I don't, yeah, as far as, like, guns go, I don't think I remember, like, regretting any gun that I got. Uh, you've had pretty good taste in guns, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, hold on. Actually, it might it might be it might be in pistols. I think I, I've had some really bad pistol experiences. Like like I had um, I had the W the WeTech uh, MMP9 like uh, clone pistol. I think I think it's called like the Big Bird or whatever. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, that that thing that thing absolutely just it it just. Kermit's sewer slide as soon as you try to shoot the gun. I've heard that before. It's funny that the KMP9 clone doesn't work, but the MP7 clone that WeTech makes actually yeah. works very well. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. We WeTech is hit and miss. Uh, you're really rolling dice. Yeah, and then I had a, uh, I know the WeTech uh, G series 19. Oh, uh, I already know where this yeah, is going. Yeah. That magazine. That, that that thing is also immediate sewer slide. <laughs> yeah, I mean it sucked because I mean I think I was in like, I think I was like a junior or senior in high school i see it some shekels and i bought it used off of off of somebody on facebook back back when that was allowed and uh yeah that thing absolute super slide so it just i i, I couldn't get anything i couldn't do anything to, to like revive it it just it was donezo and then kid boy atp i have two of them and again absolute super slide <laughs> I, I just i just don't know where they went wrong with the atp uh yeah so i'm i'm just waiting for kid to come out with the z and the gt I'm actually looking looking forward to those as well. Said Sultanian, uh, what's a good affordable automatic? Uh, they sound like automatic. a friend. Automatic uh, pistol. Uh, there's a couple different automatic pistols you can AP-01. go for. AP01. That's not my favorite though, but AP01 is an option. It AP-01. is an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what would you recommend for automatic? Okay, it depends on the budget that he has in mind. For me, if you don't mind a little bit of a throwback. 3479, baby. I have yet... Wait, this... wait, that thing is automatic? Yeah. What? Yeah, and CO2. This thing is so much fun. This thing shoots mm. so fast. Mm. So freaking fast. And it's actually durable in tools. Okay. You know, he says he prefer Beretta pistol. Hey, I didn't even see that. Yo, then, you know what? Up. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey congrats. There congrats. You go. Yeah, it's yeah. either this or the KWA uh, KMP9. That's not, that, oh, no, that's, not, that's, that's not my bad. That's not the uh, M93R. But that, M93 doesn't, that doesn't go automatic. That's, that's, three, burst that, that's three on burst. It's not but the same. It's so fast. You know, you it's, just, it, but it's not the same. It's not right. automatic. No, no. no you, you gave him the automatic. It's good. <laughs> yeah, you did a good job. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Make sure I'm missing a thing. Answer that one. Answer that one. Hello. I haven't poked into the airsoft since 2016. What's changed since then? Snipe slow. Ooh. That's a... Uh, since 2016. Let's see. Uh, HPA HPA is less prevalent. People people have decided to go back to go into the regular AEGs, uh, especially uh, for a little bit. Uh, DSG was really uh, like dual sector gear builds were like really hot stuff until everyone realized uh, it was unreliable. I I'd see I'd see as far as the industry goes, um, basically everything that you would see in 2016 for like a really high end gun, any gun that, that you would expect to like spend, let's say about like four, like three to four hundred dollars for now has trickled down into guns that you can buy easily for under three hundred dollars. Yeah, there's a lot of like I, I like to Francisco agrees with me too that 2017 is kind of like the marker for us for like when you really see this big shift in like in change as what's available in the airsoft market. More affordable stuff, more bang for your uh, for your buck. Uh, you're seeing a lot of like affordable, more uh, attainable airsoft options now coming included with a lot of option uh, yeah, or features so, that you wouldn't get yeah, until so you spent three hundred dollars. Yeah, so I think from like 2014 all the way to 2017, mm-hmm. that span was when like airsoft technology got a lot better and then then from now i think a lot of things are just becoming more like uh more standardized or like things became more everything's kind of trickling down from from the top if that makes sense that makes sense again it takes a while for a lot of the high-end technology to see its way to the common folk yeah i mean i've been saying this for years man like uh at the end of the day i think aeg technology uh as a whole like uh is not we, we, we're kind of topped out, you know, like we, we're kind of, yeah, we're yeah. kind of seeing the limits of the system and like, it's fine, you know, like that, that's just what it is. But I just don't really expect any crazy technological in- innovation as far as AEGs go. Uh, partly also because the airsoft community hates it. 
so the, the airsoft community will kill and deride anything that is and any company they'll punish any company for trying to genuinely innovate outside of the version two gearbox system so i think a lot of i think the market itself is very contradictory because they want something that's tokyo marie standard but also completely innovative and change everything but it still stays the same like you can't really do that so i think we're just kind of at the limit with the version the, with the, the gearbox system uh and now our gas blowback i think is starting to starting to become more and more popular Sublimed Space Marine 1. What is your favorite alternative to M4s and AKs? Ooh. I'd have to say FALs or... I mean, any sort of battle rifle, really. It's like... I, I love G3s. Um, but if you're talking just like... Well, I don't know. I, I guess it depends on what sort of category we're talking about. But if we're just, in general, as a platform for rifles, I would have to say probably FALs for me. But that's because I'm weird. Oh, let's see. What's, what's one gun that I've been really looking... Uh... I think, I think anything that you could take, uh, like an M4 magazine, I guess you would say, just to save you the trouble. Because, for example, like Isaiah talks about FALs, like good luck finding magazines. For yes. That. Uh, but for me personally, if if it has to be like anything that can accept an M4 magazine, I'd say, ooh, I say six hour MCX. Yeah, uh, a bit a bit more on the pricier end, and then uh the. It just escapes me right now. There, there's another gun I, was, I want to talk about that takes uh, M4 magazines. Actually, I've never actually gotten your honest opinions. What are your thoughts on 416s? Uh, I don't like them. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Why Why? why am I blanking out? Because cause it was for sure the MCX. MCX is one of them. Another. There's another gun. I'm surprised gun you didn't say Tavor. Uh, I mean, but it, it's just it's just not a very well-supported system. Like I, I think it was a little bit more supported. Like I'd happily run one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that and then oh, S R twenty five. S R twenty five is another great platform. Yeah, yeah S twenty five. Hell yeah. Uh, will you all find me a good battery that would fit in a Gen three Lance Tactical M four? I would buy from you guys. The customer service isn't really doing. Uh, th uh, Thunderclaps Gaming. If you ever need or Thunderclips Gaming. If you ever need more assistance, feel free to use the live chat function on our website. Uh, again, but let's, but well, let's, let's give you. Let's give you. Let's give you. Right we're gonna give you the battery right now. We're gonna give you the battery right now. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take the mic from you. And then while he's doing that, let me answer. Uh, I'm gonna reply to Dat Fu. He says he wants a GBLS clone. Ah, uh, yes. For those of you who don't know what a GBLS is, it's uh, a South Korean airsoft company that wanted to make uh, like an electric blowback airsoft gun. Uh, so they wanted to function like a real like M4 AR-15, but you know have a battery power. So imagine like basically like a gas blowback rifle that's powered with the battery. Um, I think there's a lot of inherent flaws with the GBLS system itself. I think they focus too much on getting it to function realistically rather than, you know, getting it to perform well. Uh, but if you really want a really cool, the modern day Sistema, dare I say it's a modern day Sistema, you got to get the GNG SGR556. That thing is insane. Absolutely. And then we just linked you, uh, Thunderclips Gaming, the uh, battery that I'd recommend. Uh, you are limited to the battery, com uh, the uh, buffer tube for your battery compartment, so going with a really thin LiPo stick battery, pre uh, ideally pre-wired to Dean's, would be ideal. So that one, thankfully, will get the job done. 900 milliamp bridge, I would recommend getting two, though, just in case, you know, just it's nice to have extras. And then, uh, oh yeah, so, so Cutter says you can't really honey badger a 416. Oh, well, the reason why I don't really like the 416... That's no, good. No, 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 well, I mean... <laughs> Specifically in airsoft, I think it's possible to honey badger a 416. It is definitely possible. Well, there's a way. Yeah, but I, I don't know, man. Like, I think I think the reason why I was so turned off by the 416 is because, like, you can't – you can only really build it one way. You can only build it a couple ways. You know, like, uh, you, you have to, like, source another aftermarket rail if you want, like, an M-Lock 1 or if you want, like, the really cool, like, proprietary HK rail system where you just keep – I hate the quad rail. The quad rail on that thing is, like – it's stupid. It looks stupid. <laughs> I, I, I hate it. I hate it. Okay. And then like, I, I don't, I don't know what it is about the force. I just don't really like the aesthetic. It's just not, I, I've never really vibed with it. So, so to say, like, even when I was like, um, even when I was like in high school and VFC first came out with their first like licensed 416 and a couple other companies were cloning the 416. Uh, I remember a bunch of people were getting it, like yeah, like older people uh, at the time were getting it, and they were kidding it all out, you know, like the dev grew load out and all. The of course, like, of course. Everyone's doing that though. Like everyone's doing that with like that stupid Wilcox mount, with 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 the knockoff EOTech, <laughs> with that stupid flip to side magnifier. Like everyone does that, and like it, it's it's hard. I don't know. Like it, it's just it's just hard to get it to look cool, in my opinion. And that, but but even then, I think when I was saving up money to get like my first like high end airsoft gun, I I decided. 
early on, no four sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually didn't know any of this, but cool. I'm I'm glad to know. Interesting Boaz lore that we just got here, folks. Alright, guys, that is gonna be the end of the live stream. That is going to be it of the promotions, but you can still get extra entries into the shopping spree giveaway. Order yourself a 2024 Platinum Hot Releases Mystery Box, and you'll be getting 15 chances, or no, yeah, 15 chances of winning tomorrow's five hundred dollar prize pot all for yourselves. Guys, it's been an absolute blast again. Right now, we need everyone's help to go ahead and spread the word. Make sure to share this live stream around. Make sure to leave a like on the live stream and in all of our social media content as well. That way we can continue to do all these amazing, great things. Guys, it's been absolutely real. Appreciate every single one of you guys' views. Every single one of you. My name is Isaiah. And Boaz. I'll see you guys.